Hi everyone, welcome back Hello. to another Fabric Friday. I've got Mum here again. Hi, how are you everyone? <laughs> it's a bit windy and wild outside, so we thought we'd come inside and show you some brand new exciting fabrics. All of them are uh, brand new European fabrics, which is amazing, because I know you guys are really loving a lot of those new designs. Before we get going, I want to talk about what we're wearing. Firstly, Mum. Uh, Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. We're in your linen visco, which yep. you have sold out now, but... Those prints, are, those prints are popular. There's a lot of the prints still left in that range, but that yeah. one in particular is, yeah. um, that's, that's it's a lovely print, easy it? blouse and it's always a good fit. I think so. you've made, how many have you made of those now? Oh, like? probably four. Four. <laughs> I haven't even made one yet. I know a lot of you are always telling me to make the Love Notions Rhapsody because it's so easy. And I think that was, how much fabric did you use for oh, that? Oh, probably a oh, metre, just over a metre. Just meter, over a metre. That's pretty good. Yeah. So if you're wanting a metre and a yeah. half, just to be sure. So. Yep. And you've left yeah. the ties off that one. Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah. Oh, I that actually yeah. it's really nice it's got little pleating on the yeah. shoulders so yeah. I need to make one of those I'm wearing the forget me not patterns viola top which is just a lovely knit pattern I made at the start of the year it's got a lot of really unique um pleating detail yeah that's lovely. Jo um, does such a good job with her unique um pattern drafting there's always something really special coming out of forget me not over in New Zealand so yeah it's still a bit blustery and cool out there we're waiting for the nice weather to come it has been very wet, hasn't it? Yes, a lot of rain. The grass keeps growing. <laughs> exactly. Mum is always on her right on mower <laughs> in gardening. I thought, oh, gosh, not again. I only cut it about four days ago. <laughs> you love it, though. I think she I think she really loves getting on that right on mower. Yes. Let's yeah. drive past and wave. You can see her with a hat on. So I need to get out and do some planting as well. But it's just uh, it's not pleasant with the wind, but it's good weather to do some sewing and some maybe some um, summer wardrobe planning as well. So um, I'm, I've got to let you know too, I've got some brand new patterns coming in store, some paper patterns. A lot of you have requested that I stock paper patterns. So I've got some exciting new ones coming from Canada, of course, the uh, Closet Core Patterns uh, new Nyx dress. That, did you say that Stevie Nyx style dress? Yes, I did. I love that. Yes. Uh, me too. I can't wait. Yes, I might have to make one of those. I think no. so. I can see <laughs> Mum and I rocking that with a straw hat, getting all the Stevie Nyx vibes. Um, I've also got cashmere patterns coming, some fantastic dresses, and a lot of you love that with the size inclusivity, and I've tried to make sure I get both ranges of size, ranges in the paper patterns as well in those. Um, I've also got Megan Nielsen patterns coming, another great Aussie pattern company, which is mm, exciting. Great. We've got so different patterns coming from the UK yeah. and Dorada Davies patterns as well from the UK. So just to get started, I think it's really exciting. And I also have got um, So To Grow patterns, of course, Lindsay, who is from Brisbane. She's actually originally from Texas. She has got that fantastic pattern company as well. Yeah. So I reckon you're going to have a lot to uh, be happy with there, a lot of different choices. So let's get started on new okay. fabrics. What have this we got? the first one. This is the new Lise Taylor Wonderland Viscose. Look at that. It is like a kaleidoscope of colour. Mm. It is so pretty. Uh, they've been really popular. Of course, Lise Taylor, I've sold out of so many times in the, the other ranges, the, the Birdie and the Olivia. The Apovito is also still in stock, but this is the beautiful new release. Uh, it's the Wonderland. It comes from her new fall collection. And, of course, we're in reverse over here in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere. We're into our spring. But I think a lot of the autumnal colours and prints are just working fine for us for our spring heading to summer because I would definitely wear this right through summer. I think it would make an amazing dress. Mm. Um, that really I'll lovely quality, one. quality viscose. Of course, you've got the Made in France, beautiful design. I'm going to hold that up close so you can see. has amazing mm. drape and full and a really lovely weight to the fabric. Um, so we've got that listed on the online store. I always put out a newsletter to remind you guys when we have a new fabric drop because a lot of people have said to me, I didn't realise you had new fabrics in until I watched the episode maybe a week later and by that stage things have sold out. Mm. So always make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Check your emails. <laughs> check your emails and check uh, spam emails and junk emails. Sometimes things go to that as well. Um, the uh, range of uh, Lise Taylor, we've got a beautiful new range coming in at the end of the year as well, so it's really exciting. So she's got a lot of new stuff getting released. Mm. And just getting onto things selling out quickly, the Fabric Godmother we had last week, mm. that sold in like a day, know, a day, even. two days, <laughs> all gone. Um, yeah, I think yeah. mum was like, what is going on? I said, I told you this was really popular in the UK for summer and I knew that you guys would love it here in Australia because we've that, that kind of thing's out of reach sometimes by the time you pay for postage 
package to get it um, you know, shipped in from the UK can be quite costly. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd love to be able to bring you guys things that you can't always access here. And I really love stocking things that are unique to or exclusive to the Daly Society because it is really nice and special having mm. something that you can't get Different. anywhere. Yeah. yeah. But the um yeah, the journey, um, this goes the green and the cream was sold out. I'm trying to get hold of more of that. And I've had a couple of people email me wanting some. I'm still waiting to get hold of some of that. But the black or the navy, I think it was a very dark ink mm. navy, that was apparently a traditional Hungarian print. I had a lovely viewer email me and say it is a really, really pretty traditional print. Um, and she wanted some. Of course, I can't get any more of that in stock at the moment. Uh, Fabric Godmother have all but sold out in their wholesale. So hopefully. Have you got the green in that one? No, we've sold out oh, the green as well. well. Green's Gosh. gone, cream's gone. But they are making pink, which is beautiful. That will be coming maybe towards the end of the year. So I'm trying to get hold of more of the green. And cream. So in the meantime, I'm trying to get more things in that will excite you just as much. The next right. range is really exciting. Now, I've been like trying to get one. my hands on this for a long time. Dashwood Studios over in the UK is very, very popular uh, print design, mainly um, showcasing all their viscoses, rayon viscose, and they do uh, have an artist or a few artists that, that work for them that make beautiful prints. This mm. is the Rachel Parker Collection. And it's called the Gardenier print. And there's four different colorways in this. Try not to hold it over your head, Mum. <laughs> um, that is a stunning, like a deep jade emerald green. Mm. Uh, it's got vines and leaves. Um, have a look at the uh, the beautiful artist print. So she's made a whole collection in this range. They are all quite unique, but they all intertwine with each other. You'll see what I mean when you see the collection. It's just so lovely to see an artist-inspired collection. To be having wearable art, I think, is just really exciting. Mm, that's beautiful. That colour's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So, oh, can you imagine that? Like new, a lovely summer dress. <laughs> yeah, like a floaty dress. Yeah. Even the um, new Pat Emporium um, Take the Chance shirt dress, and I was even thinking the other day mm. that really lovely uh, shirt dress from Lindsay at So To Grow, the Sydney shirt dress, you can make, make that without the collar. You probably right. love that. Yes. Because there's no buttons. It's just like slightly like the front of your top right, opening. Okay. Um, you can just make it with a tie around the middle. That's a really great pattern as well. But um, I can definitely see that in some kind mm. of shirt dress. So I'll hold that up oh, so good. you can see the colour. It's a really, really pretty deep green. I know a lot of you love greens. It's um really popular. So you, you can see it's got the Dashwood Studio stamp, Rachel Parker Designs. So something really unique, this different. Is another one of her designs. That's another one of her designs too. That is the um, magenta in that same mm, that's um, really collection. Nice. It's still called the Gardenier Collection. But the print in that is slightly different. Look at that colour. That is yeah, amazing, yeah. isn't it? Wow. It's in between a deep pink and a purple, that really, really pretty, like, would you call that magenta or fuchsia? Mm, very vibrant. Really pretty for summer, I think. Uh, we can wear that all year round because you can even um, pop that with black tights for winter, yeah. a little black blazer. But for summer, a nice floaty dress, even a strappy dress would be really pretty. Um, I've got so many things planned I want to make. It's just never enough time, <laughs> is it? <laughs> you sleep at night. <laughs> I don't. Do you, do you guys go to bed dreaming about all the things that you can make? Um, You get the patterns in your mind and you get the fabric and you go through all your different options and if you're like me, you change your mind a hundred times before you get to the end result. But I think that is stunning. Yeah, I'm gonna show beautiful. you guys up close the print in that. Yeah. Really, really lovely drape and a gorgeous weight that um it's quite got a quite a good hand feel to it. So a nice sort of weighty, although it's light and soft. Um their viscose rayons are just a beautiful quality. The other colour mm. range we have is this stunning blue now i think i oh, look i love what's that saying blue and green should never be seen without a color in between i think it's done <laughs> look at the one look it's got plenty of colors in between there <laughs> i think it's really pretty though the blue and green especially when you get the right blue and green together those um complementary kind of colors um talking about contrasting and complementary colors the color wheels that i had the keychains in my online store, the um, Grey Muse ones, have all sold out, so I'm trying to get hold of more of those. Mm. I think there's a lot of artists among you guys, a lot of creative people that love getting inspiration from colour, and I think that is definitely a fabric yeah. to surely inspire you, and it's a lovely shade to wear 
for a hot day I think it is um it's kind of a cooling color but I love blue look how nice you look oh. in the blue mum <laughs> I think blue is such an underrated color it is really really pretty on a lot of um, different complexions and it goes with so much as well mm. um, this is the last colorway in that dashwood collection and it's a very very deep I think it's navy yeah, it's almost navy black. It's a me. very deep ink navy. So I think that with that beautiful jade teal colour looks amazing. And see mm -hmm. how every print in the collection is a bit different, a bit more unique. Show you up close. I'm actually in the process of ordering in some viscose uh, linen solid colours. So I'm trying to make sure that I get colours that will go back with a lot of my prints. So if you guys want to make Pants. Like a basic pair yeah. of pants, skirt, or a basic top to go with the print. You can easily match things up. So I'll make sure that when I get them, I'll put pics with the prints of the solid colours so you can see what matches with what. But that would make an amazing long floaty skirt. Even the Dorada Davies olive skirt, I can see that one as well. So the next range is another really exciting range. Now the next oh. range we have is really exciting. I've actually been talking to a lovely lady called Charlotte and she runs a, a beautiful boutique um, fabric uh, company called Madame Iris and her designs are amazing. She's an illustrator and a, I think she's a graphic designer. She makes gorgeous artwork but her passion is bringing to life prints that are like works of art and that are wearable um, and she likes designing prints um, to inspire the sewers. So seeing a gorgeous print sometimes can inspire you in wondering what to make. Um, I don't know if you guys like picking patterns first or fabric. What do you like doing? Probably the – I don't know. <laughs> hard to say. Yeah. What gives you inspiration more? Do you think the fabric or the pattern? Well, the, probably the pattern, you the know, pattern. to match the fabric. So, yeah. I'm a bit yeah, of both. I'm a bit I of both. Heard, Some yeah. people are real fabric nuts. They'll go fabric first, yeah, pattern second, yeah. and other people are opposite. So um, Charlotte um, just has the most gorgeous designs. She has collections. Her latest collection is for fall 2022 over in France and it's called the Mill Fleur Collection and it's all based around beautiful tapestries, the medieval tapestries and just amazing prints, so dainty and small prints but also really whimsical prints. Um, this mm. first one is called Merlin. And it is the most amazing Eco Vero viscose, the softest viscose you've ever felt. So yeah. I think it'd be perfect for our spring and summer here in Australia. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm um, probably best to hold it the right way so you can see the pattern. And I think it's great how she's also included, um, I've got pics from her that you can see people that have made her beautiful um, prints up. I'm not going to hold that, Mum, so I can hold this up. You can see the scale of it. It's so nice to see when you see a fabric made up against the body, against the face, and you can see the scale. Because mm. online it is really hard. Even with a ruler, it's yeah. still hard to see, isn't it, how, yeah. how the scale looks. But isn't that gorgeous? This um, one in particular, my daughter, uh, Phoebe, she actually said, Mum, that one, get that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how um, you can sort of match this back with the other coordinating fabrics. So you can have uh, things like patchwork design dresses and um you know, you can sew things that if you've got layers like tears, you can mm. do alternating different prints. So um, the Madame Iris uh, brand is definitely one that I'll be stocking in store. So I say it's very exclusive, very boutique and not very widely known. I think I love promoting these indep independent um, fabric designers because I think we all need to see a bit more indie style mm. fabrics coming into the sewing wheel. But that that is a beautiful um, ink kind of colour with a brighter blues and the mustards and it will be also beautiful uh, for our autumn time as well but I'm, I'm thinking even for, for summer that would be a stunning mm. stunning dress this next one I can only manage to get a smaller quantity it's called the Vivian and the Vivian is beautiful uh, it's a really lovely rusty orange color look at that on you mm. mum that is really pretty we're talking about orange and blue how beautiful it looks together last week with that fabric godmother that um, has still got a little bit left of that magic garden it's nearly sold out um, but I think you guys all agree that the orange and blue together mm. makes a really stunning combination um, so I love the fact that when you get an artist um, that has designed the fabrics and the prints they can really see um, one of my viewers uh, did state that she said the, 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 it's a match made in heaven because the colours really sing when they're placed with the mm. right coordinating colours. So beautiful. that I love that one. That's beautiful. 
This one I thought would be beautiful for coordinating back with the other prints in this collection. It's called Landry and what I love about this is it's got a beautiful vertical stripe. Now look how pretty that looks and you can see by the pics, I'll put some pics up for some um, inspiration for you guys to see exactly how beautiful it looks in a floaty blouse that would look amazing in that Love Nations. Um, Another one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. With even with a pair of jeans, I think would just be stunning. Um, and I'll show you in a minute, I'll put a pick up, you can see the coordinating fabrics in the range, just how nice it looks um, placed together for a bit of um, mishmashing of fabrics. But that one, you can even do like the top half of a dress with the lines going um, the horizontal and then the bottom half of the dress going vertical. I think a lot of people were doing that with that fabric godmother um, print, that Joni print, the same thing with having a vertical stripe. You can do a bit of playing around with yeah. stripe placement. So that one is the beautiful Landry print. This one is also really lovely. It's called Niven and it's or Niven, Niven, Niven. Not really sure how to pronounce that, but it's really pretty dainty. You can see where they're looking at the uh, inspiration from almost like the medieval style um, tapestry rugs that you'll see. That is really pretty. <laughs> and I reckon that would look gorgeous. Place back with the other ones as well. <laughs> I'm just about knocking mum's head off here. <laughs> um, but I reckon these prints are going to be stunning. Uh, if you're doing like a um, kind of collection or maybe mix matching tops, even think about that new NYX dress from Closet Call Patterns would be just perfect in one of these beautiful viscoses. The last one, the Madame Iris Mill Fleur collection, is this beautiful Bertil and it is really pretty. That to me, uh, I think she showcased that for her cover pick for her Mill Fleur collection because um, seeing this made up in a blouse, it's just so pretty against the skin tone. It's got that really nice kind of blue with the pops of the reddy orange mm. colour. And I think purple. even um, the purple, just so nice in the background, isn't it? Yeah. I think even with um, a pair of linen pants would look nice. Yes. That if you picked up the kind of gold colour, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Uh, have you made many pants? No, I haven't. I've got a pants oh, episode coming. I'm waiting shortly. to watch that. Okay, actually, just, with my favourite you... ones. <laughs> because if you're like me, you like wearing a good pair of linen pants, a nice elastic, or comfortable waist. Um, they're the things I like wearing. Mm. I know that they've brought out the new closet called Mitchell trousers. They're a bit more of a tailored style, um, and they look beautiful. Um, everyone I've seen them on, but I like more of a, I like a bit of elastic waist. Yes. I'm a bit of a comfy person now, but I think you can still th dress things up really nicely with elastic waist. There's nothing wrong with that. But even that would be beautiful in that well, it's um, hidden, really, mix. Isn't it, it is, under, isn't it? Under a blouse. A nice issue. blouse, yep. And you have that kind of cropped sitting over the waist and you can, um, yeah, feel comfortable but put together nicely too. Lovely. So that's really pretty. So what's your favourite in all those? What do you oh, think? Oh, I love them all. <laughs> no favourites? It's hard to choose, really. I think um, <clears throat> when you see that together yeah. and all of them together would be just so lovely in a coordinating um, tears style dress, which is very popular at the moment. Tears mm. are really in. Um, the good thing about the tiered patterns, though, is you can always eliminate if you don't like yes. a lot of bulk and a lot of gathering. Mm. I do like how the Closet Core uh, next dress has got just that little bit of elastic around the waist yeah. and not too much bulk, so we don't want the bulk to. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's all we've got for you today. We've got more fabrics on the way, um, still in transit. There's heaps more to inspire you for your spring and summer sewing here at the Dally Society. If you've enjoyed uh, seeing Mum, I finally got her back on screen. <laughs> Tell her to come back on more often. <laughs> I would really appreciate a like if you enjoyed today's episode and also don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel and also head on over to the website and make sure you um, subscribe to our emails because that is the way to keep up with the new fabric drops. Uh, also exciting news if you heard about our hashtag we're running yes you did tell me starting on saturday gabrielle will have a video out a new vlog out to introduce the challenge and i'll also have one out on sunday to tell you all about um, lots the, of prizes oh, i believe if you heard the prizes there's, oh, yeah. there's heaps heaps of fantastic prizes um and also a lot of vloggers are coming on board a lot of your favorite vloggers also a lot of our new aussie vloggers will yeah. be um promoting it too so it's really exciting to see everyone getting in on these challenges so have a wonderful sewing week. We'll yeah. catch up soon. Bye for now. Bye for now.